beautiful afternoon to you, sir. I noticed that it's been very difficult getting you because it looks like you, the, the whole work looks like it's on your shoulder. You run around walking, and then I know the staff are very glad. Thank you, sir. Please, sir, let me allow you to introduce yourself because I probably will not do it right if I get to introduce. Please, sir, introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Major General Charles. I have retired. Uh, Presently, the Executive Director of Finance and Administration of NDDC. And with the PPP arrangement, we want to bring in and attract development partners to the Niger Desert region in such a way that uh, their partnership, <coughs> we can share liabilities, we can share profits, uh, and then there will be further commitments in terms of uh, youth empowerment, women, uh, empowerment, development of infrastructure. These are things we can do alone. Even within the budget limits, we cannot do it alone. And that's why we're attracting uh, uh, development partners through PPP and through government uh, interventions. And that's where we are today. And I'm sure with this summit coming up on the 25th, Nigerian, the, 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 the whole economic structure of NDDC will change, and we can see that happening with the way people are coming in, with the way people are interested, the number of people that have come in before the PPP committee set up by the MD uh, in the last uh, two months. I'm sure with this summit, we will achieve the desired result. And we intend to touch all infrastructure, roads, electricity, the waterways, and so on and so forth. Those who are interested to partner with NDDC, definitely will bring them on board. Now, you know that there are a lot of abandoned projects, especially on infrastructure. That is one of the things we intend to address. We look for partners on toll roads. We're going to look for partners on youth development. We're going to look for partners on... If I, within the youth development, we are going into uh, 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 under 17 uh, for male and women, even athletics, amateur athletics competition. We intend to partner with development partners in this area. We also intend, you know, to expand our waterways through development partners. We also intend to make sure that the new infrastructure in the various localities are going to happen. Let me just quickly bring to your notice that in the next few weeks, the road between uh, 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 constructed between Shell and NDDC, the, the, the Guanyamba Road, will be commissioned. This is a partnership, and the MD has uh, even visited the of Worry on the Worry Escravos Road. We intend to do that in partnership with Chevron. These are areas we are selecting the uh, electricity uh, uh, commissioning in Undo will be coming. It's a partnership. These are areas we intend to address and see whether we can showcase a lot of our platform for people to come on board to work with us. And I'm sure they will at the end of the summit. It's the time for us to showcase NDDC positively. The, the return on investment has to do with our capacity to implement our budget. The budget circle, the budget guidelines for 2024 is going to be fully encompassing, it's going to be involve the oil companies, it's going to involve the state planning commissioners, it's going to involve the traditional rulers, the communities. It's going to you know, be on the need assessments. And this is what we are going to achieve by this uh, summit, that everybody will be involved in the development of the Niger Delta region from the year 2023 onwards, in such a way that our budgeting process will change to include everybody. And that's what we are going to achieve. That is the return on investment at the end of the day. Moment with um, the EDFA of the Niger Delta. He has been a fantastic person. My name is Edu Antonio Fong. I'm reporting for NDDC New Media.